the year 2006, over 5 million people flew into Sharm el-Sheikh. A great many of those visitors would have spent some time at sea, diving, snorkeling, swimming, windsurfing, or just enjoying a trip on a boat for the day. It is estimated that there may be up to 10,000 people at sea in and around the waters of Sharm el-Sheikh at any one time. We're very familiar with the uh, emergency service back in Europe. We just pick up the phone, 999, 911, the ambulance, the fire brigade. What about the emergency services at sea? Who are they in Sharm el-Sheikh? And more importantly, how can we reach them? To ensure that the industry is sensibly regulated by those with the relevant qualifications and expertise, an NGO has been formed to provide a framework of standards and safe practices for those working in aquatic sports and leisure. Here in Sharm and Dahab, we have the South Sarno Association for Diving and Marine Activities, or SSDM for short. We uh, are very much uh, interested in making sure that all the staff, the dive uh, instructors and dive guides working in the industry, are qualified to be working here. Uh, so we make sure before they are allowed to work in the region that they are certified and currently insured and also they are aware of the local uh, rules and regulations and the national park rules uh, applied in the region. Staff must still be trained in first aid and in handling the initial stages of an emergency, but in recent years our job has been made much easier with the addition of the new fast response craft. Combined with VHF radio and far-reaching mobile phone reception, it is now possible to contact this rapid response service and have a patient attended to within a few short minutes. Uh, each boat will contain an, a rescuer, and a pilot, and a doctor. And all are uh, ready to intervene on a 24-hour basis. And this is to give us the capability to intervene for all type of accident in case of medical, grounding, boat on fire, people lost at sea, whatever the type of their people are calling us for, we intervene. The rapid response of a rescue service has helped save many lives and prevented the worsening of many injuries and illnesses, but usually there must be a receiving end that will handle the cases when they are returned to land. If you think that being away from home means that you have to take your chances with a foreign medical facility, then you couldn't be further from the truth. The Sharm Hyperbaric Medical Centre is one of the most experienced and well-run facilities in the world. Founded in 1993 by Dr. Adil Tahir with a development grant from the USAID, the facility is a major backbone for both locals and visitors alike. All diving accidents that need to be recompressed, they go into the recompression chamber. Uh, we send with them always either a train tender uh, or one of our doctors. We treat everything that is related to diving, starting from bad ears to poisonous fish stings to uh, dermatological conditions relating to being in the sea. We treat cases of near drowning. And then we do a little bit uh, more than that. We actually try and help wherever we can. So we end up doing a lot of GP work. Uh, we do all the other adjunctive therapy needed and we either leave the patient when we can't help him any further, when he's 100% cured, or if he's going to be referred to another center abroad to continue his treatments, we stabilize him, we prepare him for the travel and we follow up uh, with the case even after they leave us. For more information, please contact your tour leader or your hotel diving centre.